Hello and welcome to the Lord Finn Gaming Plays Borderlands Game Year Enhanced Edition. I'm your host Lord Finn. Today's uh, Borderlands video, we're going to do some New Haven uh, missions, including story and side missions, and hit up the Tenacious Warrens too to do some uh, side missions there. Now there are two storage decks in this video, I'll show you that, and also I'll show you something important about uh, King Wee Wei. And what you saw right there was a golden key chest. Just as a friendly reminder on that. So first thing we're going to do is grab all the uh, missions in this area. The very first one we're going to grab is obviously from uh, Scooter. So this is very simple. Just talk to him and I'll be back. Heard you hunt for that vault. You know, even if it weren't hogwash, what a matter. What are you going to do with treasure anyhow? All we got here is mud guns and dirt. Hey, you keep yourself out of trouble. Alright, so we have got ourselves a side mission check on uh, TK Ba. Yeah, we gotta check on our old friend from Firestone. There's also another uh, side mission we're gonna get too, which is like a Moth to Flame. That's also in uh, uh, Firestone. There's also King Tossing and uh, Harvest Crystal. Those are two of our uh, tenacious uh, warrens. Also, there's a clap trap down. That's right, this clap trap right here is very easy to get. Yeah, we're gonna get uh, some uh, storage deck up braces in this video today. Now, this one's very easy. I'll show you how to do it exactly. First thing you need to do is go over here, jump. Yeah, this part's difficult. You need to jump on the line and land on it. It's a thin metal sheet line you need to stand on. Yep, once you do it, run, jump. Now, next part over here, run and then. Uh, jump over there if you get right there like I am grab it and there you have it time to turn it in alright so after you've gotten the uh, repair kit just simply go back to the claptrap unit that is down I'm gonna turn it in now here's a great news I'll uh, be back after talking to him but beforehand there is a chest that this claptrap unit will reveal so this one's a good one so I'm gonna turn this in I'll be back immediately afterwards There you go, we got ourselves a nice chest over there. That's a nice upgrade, so the next thing I am going to do is mark the, uh, let's see here, area Badlands. We're going to do those first, and then we're going to go back to New Haven, finish the uh, story mission one, then go to the Tenacious uh, Warrens to face off uh, King Wee Wee and get 50 uh, Corrosive Crystals. And there you have it, I have officially got ourselves three new uh, storage decks right there. That's good right there. You should always have those. Those are very uh, good to have. In fact, that's wonderful to have. I'm going to try to get every single one of them so this way everybody in the, who's watching my uh, Borderlands series know where every single one of them is at. Now, if you all want a separate one, a separate video on how to get all of them, just by request, I'll uh, do it since people who are new to the Borderlands series wants to figure out okay what's this Borderlands all about I heard 2 is good I heard it's very good well I'll show you that too but for now we're gonna go to uh, Firestone and go back into the newbie lands yes there are two uh, missions right here we're gonna do first one we're gonna check up on our buddy uh, TK uh, Ba now here's what happened in between uh, leaving Firestone and getting to New Haven uh, Dr. Zed moved out of Fire uh, Firestone, I should say. <laughs> he went to New Haven, so forget about him. And second, uh, Claptrap's still there, the original OG. Yes, the same Claptrap in the Borderlands prequel. So there's some foes, I'll be back. I just wanted to shoot him down. That was my excuse, folks. Yeah, some nice payback. So first thing we're gonna do is gonna check up on our buddy TK. This is not. Oh boy, <sighs> folks. I hate to say it, we lost our buddy TK. I'm gonna just rage. Beforehand, we're gonna go uh, in his house first. Something 
Yeah, that was not cool at all. I decided to kill a whole bunch of foes. Uh, my anger got the best of me. I lost our buddy TK. This is unfortunate, so I'm going to sell some junk. Alright, after selling some junk and losing our buddy uh, TK, which is unfortunate. It sucked, though, because TK Bob was actually pretty awesome. He got us through uh, some of these uh, story and side missions. Got us a few levels, too, I will admit. Which is unfortunate. So now the next thing up is uh, we're going to honor our buddy TK Bob by uh, killing uh, Moth Rock. Yeah, it's a giant moth <laughs> you're going to see, but still. I have found a good strategy on how to kill it. Yeah, this one's easy. Just like my uh, Mad Mel one I discovered a little bit ago. <laughs> and there's the first thing you need to do is get over to the destination right there. Once you uh, do that. Well, I'm going to take out some foes and anger. Yeah, stay away from me. Get out of here. Get lost. All right, back to it. So this is very simple. As soon as we light the three torches, we're going to fight a giant moth-like creature. I'll show you how to do it now. You see that uh, cliff up behind the tree? We're going to use that as cover. Yes, we are. We're going to use that as cover. You still will get hit by some of the radius damage, but it's not bad as being direct. And I tried the vehicle method. Yeah, it took a lot of tries a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. So there you go. We're going to summon Giant Moth. It's going to be right there. Oh, boy. So use the rock wall behind you and just use it as cover. I'm going to shoot it up. I'll be back after uh, words of fighting it. Alright, it is down. Unfortunately, look like the loot is disappointing. Yeah, I'll skag thing a Skagzilla type of level loot. Still, only see, let's see here. Okay, one blue. That's not even that great. There's some money there. We're going to collect some of that too. Like I said, you're going to need cash in this game. Might as well. Uh, unfortunately, the loot was disappointing and our old buddy TK's down. That sucks. However, we're going to get back to uh, New Haven. And resume some of those uh, missions there. One story mission, and I think the two side missions in the Tenacious Warrens. So I am going to do Power to the People. That has three quests left in this video, and that should do it right there. Yeah. So let's get out of here. We're going to have some. We were going to have some good memories. Now it's bad memories thanks to uh, our poor buddy TK. Still, we're going to get going. But this is a great way to do all these uh, missions. Just do them in a bunch. And you'll uh, get it done instead of going back and forth. It's much, much easier. So far, we have got ourselves a total of uh, three done. One was in the, uh, let's see, New Haven. I had to do that first since that was a storage deck. That was overriding everything else. There's another storage deck. I'll show everybody that uh, later on. But still, that was overriding. And then this one right here, I got two in the uh, Firestone area. 
So that's very important. So what I am going to do is I'm going to get back to uh, New Haven, take the ultimate shortcut instead of going through the Doll Headlands and drive to New Haven. So you go over here, teleport yourself there, and the way we go. All right, I am back from uh, teleporting from Firestone to uh, New Haven. So now we're going to flip the uh, power on. So we're going to do scooter first. There you go. This one's very easy. One of them's only outside. Yeah, that's that easy. And it's not bad, too. It's not bad with foes around the area, too. So we're going to do that right now. Flip it again. And we have a total of uh, three left. Uh, the tenements, the rooftop, and the north gate. Yeah, the waypoints in this game, they did a great job of it, I will admit. It's much, much easier with the enhanced editions. One of the main enhancements. There's another enhancement in the video. I'll do that a little bit later. But first thing we're going to do is go over here. Yeah, might as well grab some rockets. I'm going to need that later. There's another tenement uh, power right there. That's it. That's two to go. we got to get to the rooftop. This one's a little uh, tricky. A little tricky so just follow the buildings the way it goes grab some cash on the way you're gonna need it now this one's a little tricky you need to be a little careful so just scout around the area scrounge around it and I think that's enough right there there's a table right there we're gonna use this table right here as our jump point so jump right there aim and there you go now you need to be careful walk slowly right there there uh, crouch right there if you try to jump like I did, what happened was you fell off. And we got to use the table again. So I'll repeat the previous step right here. Jump here. Uh, now I go uh, down and crouch. Walk right there. Keep a walk until you cannot walk anymore. There you go. Uh, now try to jump. There you go. And just jump over there. And we're going to jump over here some more. We'll actually run across and flip this one. And we got one left to do. All right, last one's very easy. It's just to the north gate. It's real close by. And we're not going to turn this one in yet. We're going to flip the switch. There you go. We're officially done. We're not going to turn this in yet. However, we're going to turn in the errant, uh, Badlands ones. And we got ourselves a good cross of shotgun. If you're in those shotguns, I would keep it. If not, well, it's another loot to sell, my friend. Yep, it is. So we're going to turn this into Scooter Den. We're going to head to the uh, Tenacious Warns. Yeah, always want to sell some things too. So, alright. That's explosive damage on a grenade mod. It's not that great, the uh, grenade mod. We got ourselves a level though. So, yeah, I am going to build my uh, Quicksilver up some more. So now I have a 10% plus in the Fire Rate Department. So that is good right there. You know what? I might as well turn this quest and then ignore the uh, main story mission. Yeah, I'm going to ignore it. And there you go. Paid in uh, New Haven. Now, there's one called Made in New Haven. You should do all the New Haven uh, missions. Since we got that done. So, what I'm going to do for now is speak with Scooter. And I'm going to grab all these quests. That's for another uh, time in the video. Might as well do that to save the uh, steps right now. Just get ahead of, it, ahead of time. So, next thing I am going to do is mark up the... Uh, Two tenacious warns one and uh, we're gonna do that beforehand I am going to do is uh grab the other uh, missions right here that'll be for another video just prepare ahead of time so we're gonna go visit Marcus our friend who told us to get off the bus yep we're gonna do his mission right here too so that's good see right there all sales are final that's another time another video cuz uh, the quest we got from uh, the one uh, gal the the mayor of the town of New Haven uh, gave us a, a quest to go to another area. I'd probably should say quest of story mission, but still get used to it. <laughs> and I got enough of those right there, so now I mark the uh, crystals. I'll be back after selling. There we go. So now we're going to the Tenacious, uh, or tenacious uh, Warrens. Yeah, this is like one of those side areas like the Lost uh, Caves. This one you should definitely do. There's another uh, storage deck. It's not missable. There's also King Wee Wee. I'll explain that in a bit after combat.
Next up is going to the uh, Tenacious Warns. I'll show you that where's that at exactly. You should be on your uh, tracking arm ready automatically. You should get into it. See, we discover a checkpoint there. We're going to enter it right now. We are officially inside. Now, I am going to sell some junk off again since I kind of uh, looted and while I was killing foes. I'll be back. All right, so first thing we're going to do is I mark the Corrosive Crystal one. Now, on the way of getting these crystals and King Wee Wee to take out, there is a Claptrap unit down. So, I am going to blast these crystals right now. See, there you go. We're also going to be new, meeting a new uh, foe, some kind of Spire variant foes. So, when we uh, see him, I'll uh, be back after killing him. Yep, they were going to crystals all right, so I'm going to grab those. That's it right there. Now, up ahead will be a down claptrap unit. However, there's going to be a badass foe. Yes, that's what it is. A badass one. Now, you got to make sure you hit them by the tail. That's their weakness. You hit them by the tail. You'll have some uh, bonus damage to it. Do enough bonus damage, it goes down for the count. Now, I'll show you right there a bit, then I'll uh, be back after killing it. Whoa! Alright, there you go. They've been defeated. Alright, that's not bad loot at all. Nice uh, revolver if you're a revolver user. And there's your claptrap. He is down. Now I'll get the uh, repair kit on the way. Alright, after clearing out some bandit thugs, yep, we're going to get the repair kit. This one's another one of those little tricky jumps. Alright, there's another class mark for the siren. Mmm, grenades, that's new. Right, let me uh, get an upgrade of that. That's an upgrade of me. And there you go, 58 damage. That is good. Woohoo! Yeah, that's good in case I need to toss some uh, grenades. Alright, so follow this path I am going. We're going to get some crystals first on the way there. Might as well because you may never know. So, shoot them up. Right now, we're getting a whole bunch of them. Yeah, we're almost halfway there already. Yeah, this is a short area. Shorter than the Lost Caves, but still, this is a good area to do. Personally, it's one of my uh, favorite sidetrack areas to do. Yeah, it's because of King Wee Wee. He's fun to kill. <laughs> Real fun. So, I am going to get some more uh, crystals and I'll be back after. Now we got some loot, kill some foes, got more uh, corrosive crystals. Now here's the next step. Now if you're going to try to jump like I am going to jump, you will fail. It took me about an hour the first time I did it. 
without swearing each time. So the next thing you need to do is go over there. Now you see the pole right here, skinny again. It's just like the other thing we did for the kit. Run, jump, time your jump right there. Now this one might be a little more tricky. So next part we're going to do is jump right there. Try run, jump, aim for that right there. There you go. We got a little bit more uh, maneuverability there. Grab that. That is it right there for the repair kit. I am not going to turn that in since I am going to go do some uh, more uh, harvest crystals. We only got 15 left to go, folks. All right, so next thing up is getting the last of the uh, corrosive crystals. I uh, checked my inventory. I'm not going to grab anything else since I am almost out of space. Yeah, we're going to need at least one space for the shield. Yeah, King Wee Wee's supercharged shield is nice. There's some uh, stats were hit in the uh, original Borderlands game. However, um, in this edition, they uh, brought it to life, actually. Yeah, they actually did brought it to life. Which is the uh, health boost and the quick uh, shield regeneration. Yeah, they did a great job over that Gearbox software of actually bringing that to life, those hidden stats. Made it worth more getting if you're doing a 2.5 uh, playthrough. Alright, there you go. We're going to grab some loot. And there we go. We have one more uh, mission to do. It has to take out King Wee Wee. Alright, that is done over with. Now I am going to go uh, get ready to take out King Wee Wee, but beforehand we got to take out his loyal subject that's guarding him. So what I'm going to do is get close by, then I'm going to attack his loyal subjects. His loyal subjects are now dead and out of the game, so next part is we're going to enter his little castle that looks like trash. <laughs> so once it opens, and there is King Wee Wee. Here's the deal about uh, King Wee Wee. We defeat him and we got ourselves a Wee Wee Super Booster. It's a souped up shield. Not great for this playthrough, but beyond uh, the second one, it is perfect. Now, in the original Borderlands uh, game and the uh, Game of Year edition, not the Enhanced edition, one shot and that was it, and you had to go look for uh, other games just to farm the item. Just look for uh, King Wee Wee's shield. And now we'd be able to get it. And while I was talking about that, we turned in the storage deck and got ourselves another one. So that's it right there. So officially 24 of uh, 20 in my inventory case. But still, let's go back to the subject of King Wee Wee and the uh, Enhanced Edition difference. Now, they all the bosses you can farm are on certain items. For instance, King Wee Wee's shield. Uh, when you get to your second playthrough, you want that shield. That shield is great. Now, later on, when all the enemies are souped up to level 68 plus, you definitely want that. That's considered like one of the uh, in-game items you want. You definitely want those. Now, in the old days, like I said before, people had to go look for games for that, but no more. They enhanced that edition. So, our next step is we're going to turn all the uh, missions in before I end the video. So, what I am going to do is use the fast travel system in this game and get us to a uh, new haven. Yeah, we're gonna fast travel this baby. Alright, so let's review what went down in today's video. We have seen TK Bod's body, which is unfortunate. Uh, we killed Mothrock, which is a uh, Borderlands version of Mothra. Very easily, I might add. Two storage deck units, one in New Haven and one in Tenacious Warrens. Another uh, corrosive artifact now is at level 2. And finally we killed King Wee Wee and we could farm him. So we're going to turn that in right now. So we got the spy. If you didn't get the golden key chest, this was a great uh, SMG. And there's our level 2 uh, corrosive crystal right there. So let's might as well turn that in. There you go. All set, ready, good, and to go. So 
in all that is it for uh, New Haven uh, missions we will not get any more until we come back here after the uh, Rust Commons to look for uh, Patricia Tannis yes we're gonna be looking for her all right in this next video or two so for, for now that is it for uh, New Haven King Wee Wee farming and two storage deck units and more this is Lord Fenton signing off please like comment and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching everyone.